Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going to be mostly an update video for about my new puppy Willow and what it's been like adjusting to life with her and having a puppy with multiple chronic illnesses and all of that stuff. So that's what today's vlog is going to be about. And right now we're outside, so I'm sitting in a chair and she is in her playpen. She's calmed down now, but she was really upset because she's in the playpen. So I guess I will share about the first night, but before I do, I want to say that <laughs> she's found her voice. Um, but oh my gosh, she's chasing her tail. She's never done, she hasn't done that. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got her when she was eight weeks old and she will be 10 weeks old tomorrow as I'm filming this. So for the first two weeks we've had her, we've just adjusted to everything. So we haven't done any training or anything. We've just established a very consistent routine and done the same things and just let her get used to being in our house, being in a new environment. Um, so that's kind of our method methodology, is not the word, for the first two weeks. And then later today, we my trainers the dog trainers coming and we're gonna start basic obedience um like the very very beginning of it um but we wanted to make sure she acclimated and had a long time too because it's a marathon not a race and we want to set her up for success for service work so anyways i digress so the first night with her was hold on one second sorry guys she is she's like looking down i don't know what she's doing um but we're taking her back in her crate so good girl oh we need to get some more water in there oh okay <laughs> hi <laughs> sorry about that uh she decided that she wanted a drink of water so now we're both back inside she had been playing for quite a bit so she got some water, and now we're both back inside. But going on with my update, dang, I'm out of breath. So the first night with her was really, really rough. I'm not going to lie. The second night was better, and I was like, oh, I think I got this down. And I spoke way too soon because the third night was really similar to the first. But then I, like, started establishing a routine. And in the beginning, I would warm her blanket up because she sleeps with a blanket. Um, that she cuddles up with and I will put that in there turn on the white noise maker which I have to have on to sleep so um, it wasn't just for her it's for me too and that seemed to help so we have a night routine and yeah so we potty trained her in probably like three or four days but she's only had two accidents ever in the crate because we are crate training and which is really really good so I'm really proud of her for that she's very smart and yeah she's doing good she has her little unicorn and that's her bed and blanket and her toys but yeah and that's like the biggest update I think and if I think of anything else I'll share it later on in this vlog oh come on come on girl come on Look at you crazy. Look at you crazy go. Are you selling your brother's toy again? You need to go inside. She went potty, did such a good job, and now she wants to play. Alright. <laughs> I guess we're going back inside. Someone's having their first ever, well not their first ever vet visit, they've had one before, but their first vet visit with us, huh? She's not happy. She's a very sad girl. She actually just wants to get down and sniff is what she wants to do. I know. She just wants to explore and sniff and play, but we are holding her and she doesn't really like being held right now because she's a very active puppy. She's basically a toddler. So she doesn't like it, but we're getting 
Um, another round of shots. So far she's had her parvo, her distemper, and the one other. And then I think we'll she's see. getting one or two today. And we'll see how much pork her weighs. Yes, we're interested to see how much she weighs. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hi guys. So we are out of the vet, obviously, and Willow did so good. I'm so proud of her. She was not happy. She was very upset. I think she fell asleep. She looks like she's asleep. Yeah. Um, she was very, very vocal and barking up a storm in the room. Oh my gosh, she sounded like a little chimpanzee slash pig, you know, when they squealed it. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was really funny, but I don't blame her. It's a new environment. And the biggest thing was she wanted to go down and explore, but we didn't want that, so she hasn't had all her shots yet, and we don't want her to get sick. So, um, she yeah. She weighs 13 and a half pounds. She weighs 13 and a half pounds. She got some more shots today, which is good that we have another appointment in four weeks. So let's see, what else did they say? They said... She's really adorable. Yeah, that she's yeah, really yeah. adorable. And I'm really grateful because our vet, like all vets in the area, yeah, she's passed out. Um, in the area we live in, are, don't allow anyone inside. They just take the dogs at the door and go inside. But because we have mentioned my trainer's name, which they know him, uh, my dog trainer, they said I could come in. And I was so excited and so happy that I could go in with her. That just made me happy. So it could also have to do that. She's a puppy puppy too. But yeah, so everything went good. I'm very proud of her. And we set a towel down on the ground and vacuumed everything under it so she could lay down if she wanted and that's what she's doing. So I'll show you guys her. <laughs> oh, so cute. So, oh, oh wow. My mascara smudged. Um, I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I look over to check on her. And I notice her ear popped up. <laughs> Your ear popped up. Look at that. Oh, now it's floppy again. But look. That one's totally more up than that one. Oh my gosh. That? Oh, don't mind my crazy hair, I just noticed. But that's crazy, my baby girl's growing up. Here, I'm gonna turn around, the camera around again. Oh. And I've disrupted the piece. I should not have done that. Anyone who's crate training, uh, don't do what I just did. Don't go up to them. Um, like that. She'll be fine. Oh, there she is. She's already settling on her feet. Hi guys, at this point I've just accepted that my vlogs from now on, I'm going to close my closet. Nobody needs to see my messy closet. Here, I'll just, I'll just go over here. Um, but I've accepted that at this point. Vlogs for the next little bit are going to be a compilation of clips from different days and it's not going to be very consistent and I apologize for that, but it's just my real life right now. I keep forgetting and... I have a puppy to take care of, and right now, she decided to, she's completely potty trained to the point where she lets us know, like, lets me know when she has to go to the bathroom, lets me know, like, when she wants to get water, like, th there's a whole thing she does that I'm able to tell with no warning, with no peep from her at all. She flipped her bed upside down, peed on it, and then proceeded to pee on her blanket. So both of those are in the wash now. And we have, and we have a Becca bed that she's now deciding to destroy by chewing it. Because she is a very teary, mouthy, bitey puppy today. So, I have to take that from her because it's bedtime and I do not want to, one, wake up with it destroyed everywhere. And two, I don't want to worry throughout the night that she's, um, going to eat stuffing or something. And she'll live. She, she'll survive with no cushion just for a night, so... Wish me luck on getting it without her escaping and 
going crazy. 